everyone, this is David, and today I'm going to be reacting to Sanam Lagja, Lagja Gale, or Kali, Kale, I don't know. Um, well, yeah. Either way, let's get right into it. Um, this is the first time I'm reacting to, to them. I believe it's a group, but we'll see. Alright, here we go. Future is unpredictable, so be remembered. Forever through the love you give, not forgotten, for judgment or hate. Okay, so obviously I have no idea what they're saying, but so far, very nice, very nice voice, um, very nice, and uh, nice guitar as well, very mellow so far, very relaxing, just nice, just very nice. Uh, let's watch it from the beginning. there man that was nice I mean essentially the guitar and the bass are playing the same part there only you know about an octave apart <laughs> so nice very nice sing man this dude can sing like he can he can do the power right but he can also do the subtle things as well the, the you know he can he can take it to the softer softer areas of his voice too and that's really nice like as, especially when he went to the head voice there and did that little that little riff that was nice oh, look 
said before obviously i don't understand a thing that they're saying um in fact i don't even know what language this is what what language is this because they're they're really good they're really good like um like very like in terms of instrumentation it's not like too much it's just enough i mean it's pretty much just a acoustic guitar uh, bass guitar and I uh, always forget what that percussion box is called like yeah I, I can never remember what it's called but that percussion box is really nice I just can't remember what it's called wouldn't it be funny if it was actually called percussion box it's probably not it's, it's probably not but yeah anyways the percussion box whatever it's called taste very tastefully done um the bass guitar that guy was really good super smooth you know kept time all that kind of stuff kept the groove going you know even though the bass bass lines were really moving it was still very mellow and very relaxing so it's very nice and uh yeah very nice the guitar was really good as well and um the main singer he's got a very expressive voice and i like that like um yeah whatever he's doing he, whatever he whatever he's doing he's doing it right 
excuse me, and, uh, you know, the X-Factor, whatever it is, he's got it in spades, and, yeah, whenever they sing together and, and do harmonies and stuff, it sounds really good, and, uh, yeah, I wish there were subtitles to this, because I want to know what this song is about, <laughs> But, um, either way, that was really good. Also, I apologize for, uh, my pronunciation of, uh, the song name, because I'm pretty sure I butchered that at the beginning, so I apologize for that, and, uh, how do you pronounce it? <laughs> Anyways, that was really good, and, um, mm. Yeah. I kind of wanted to sing along, even though this is the first time I heard the song. And, you know, there's a couple reasons I couldn't. First reason is obviously I didn't know the song. I don't even know the language, so how's that going to work, right? <laughs> and uh, second of all, well. My parents are sleeping right now, so if I sang, I would wake them up, and I don't want to do that. <laughs> Anyways, um, so, so that's the reason you weren't subjected to my singing. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that was really good. That was really good. Like, I really want to know what this song is about. Like, if, if I had to guess, I would say it's love song maybe his heart got broken by someone but yeah yeah that's a, that's a really nice song and uh I'm not sure what else to say except that I mean these guys killed it they perfectly captured the mood the vocals matched the mood of the instruments and vice versa so you know it was really nice like uh these guys know what they're doing <laughs> And, uh, yeah. Alright, so I think I'm going to end it here. And, you know, thanks for, for watching this video, this reaction. And uh, I'll see you guys next time.